ensuring an unrestricted growth for your day-old chick is key during the brooding period. The first 14 days are essential to reach slaughter weight efficiently. In this tutorial, we take you through the process of preparation until the last day of brooding. We show you how to care like a mother hen for her chicks. The key points of attention. Make a proper planning, cleaning, arrival of the chicks. Order supplies. Gas or charcoal supply for heating. Feed supplies for eating. Water supply. Before the arrival of the chicks, we have to prepare the rearing house. Day-old chicks are very sensitive towards diseases. To reduce biosecurity risks, causing higher mortality and poor performance. Preparation is key. To erase biosecurity risks from the previous flock, you need to clean and disinfect everything the chick will be in touch with. These points of attention will help you to prepare properly. Remove the litter materials from previous flock thoroughly and move away from your other houses. Take down, repair and clean the curtains. Clean all equipment and houses well. Prepare holes to prevent rodents from entering and perform maintenance work. Disinfect the house and its content. Create a brooding area with only round corners to prevent suffocating by huddling. Heat up the house to at least 34 degrees Celsius to ensure the chicks are comfortable on arrival. Just before arrival of the chicks, place sufficient chick drinkers, add some vitamins to the water to reduce the effects of arrival stress. Do not overfill the drinkers. It is better to refill them regularly to keep the water fresh. Put feeder plates throughout the brooding area in a way that a chick is never more than one meter from water and feed. Fill the feeder plates with Caldice pre starter, Galdus. After arrival, remove the crates and make sure the buds have sufficient water, sufficient feed, and are comfortable. After arrival, remove the crates and make sure the buds have sufficient water, sufficient feed and are comfortable. Count the number of chicks that move into your house carefully so that you know exactly how much to feed. To double check, count a couple of boxes randomly. Include the additional chicks per box. Make sure you do not exceed the maximum stocking density of 9 to 13 chicks per square meter. Check if all essential vaccinations were provided at the hatchery. Healthy chicks will have closed healed navels and clean vents. The legs should be dry and not too pale. Check vitality by picking a chick and dropping it from a height of 50 cm. They should be back on their feet within a second. If the chicks sit, huddle and do not take any feed or water, this most often is caused by stress during transport, increase brooding temperature and move feed and water close to the chicks. In case of deformities, inform your hatchery and remove them from your pen. A weak chick is a biosecurity risk for the healthy chicks. Check if the chicks are comfortable by looking at their behavior. Provide fresh feed, clean water as well as the optimal temperature for the specific humidity. The behavior of the chick will tell you if the temperature is comfortable. When it's too cold, they huddle close to the heat source. When it's too warm, they move away as far as possible from the heat source. When your chicks are nicely spread, you know the temperature is right. Make sure you keep your chicks at the right temperature, day and night. The legs of the chicks should always feel warm. Chilled legs indicate low temperature or activity which in both cases reduces performance. Check the color of the legs to check if they are fully hydrated. Legs should be dry and slightly red. Check the crop filling for proper feed intake. The crops of young chicks should always feel full. Check the weight of the chicks by weighing 1% of the flock. Register the weight on your clock on your flock chart. During the brooding period, make sure the chicks have sufficient space feeders and water. Increase the number of feeders and drinkers to keep up the increased feed intake. The brooding periods take approximately 14 days and depends on the breed of the chicken. As soon as the buds are feathered, they are able to control their own temperature. 
fully feathered chicks are bothered by too high a temperature and start panting. As soon as they are feathered, the optimal temperature goes down rapidly and often cooling by ventilation or air conditioning is required. Caring for your chicks like a mother hen will have set you up for well-developing broilers reaching high slaughter weights. Want to know more? Contact Cowdye Specialist for more information on successful rearing.